Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Tuesday. It's Daryl here. It is not so bright and early, 7 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, I'm looking a little dis dis disheveled, disheveled. I can never get that word right. Uh, I just got back from my five-mile walk here around town, and I, I like to say I do some of my best thinking when I'm out, when I'm exercising. It gets the, this is a true story. When you exercise, it does, it does uh, increase your cognitive abilities, seriously. But anyway, I was out on the walk, and I started thinking about these these freedom truckers right off the bat my, my my opinion is these guys give are an embarrassment to truck drivers i've told you guys before I, i'm a i was a union a teamster truck driver for about 12 years i'm still i think i'm still a member in good standing uh my, my dues were paid up and everything but anyway i think my person my personal the my first first thought is they are an embarrassment to americans and to truck drivers all right, so lately you see people like Lauren Bobart talking about uh, that we shouldn't be concerned about the Ukraine. You know, we should be more concerned. You know, they, they paint uh, Trudeau. Uh, Trump Trump had some statements lately about Trudeau. And, uh, and uh, what, what was Lauren Bobart, what was her, her comment? Um, the U.S. and Canada need to be liberated because they're under oppression because of masks and and vaccinations. Oh my God! Are, I mean, are you serious? I, I, gave, I just gave this a little thought. This is a, a brief bit, a brief video. I started to think about how these th these two things are on opposite ends of the spectrum. Really, uh, you got the Ukraine here, you know. And I don't know if I really, you know, if anybody really needs to explain to people why it's important not to let people uh, Putin get away with this naked aggression. I mean, what do you do? You let the Ukraine, you know, you don't worry about that. Next thing, it's it's Lithuania, Rom uh, Romania, Poland. And before you know it, it's our problem. You know, it happened before. Um, but not just that. It's people suffering. It's people, just because they're 6,000 miles away, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that we shouldn't be that shouldn't be high on our priorities list just because they're not Americans. America first and all that nonsense. How about just people first, living beings first? Um, and then on the other side over here, it's more just about selfishness. It's just about people that are more concerned about, I wouldn't even call it personal freedoms. It's just, they're acting like kids. Like, you know, I don't want to wear a mask and you can't make me. I don't want to get a vaccine and you can't make me. It's my right. And it's just all about their discomfort or their beliefs. I, you know, some people might, might have legitimate religious issues some but I, I think the over my personal opinion the overwhelming amount of these people just are on all corners of the internet getting all sorts of inaccurate information and they base their decisions on that and they just like to be pains and you know pains in the ass they just like to rock the boat uh that's my opinion so over here you have people that are just being selfish just you know they don't they don't want to put a piece of cloth on their face and they're talking about being up there that that is oppression and over here, you have people, you know, there, there was reports, uh, the Ukrainian ambassador to the U.S. Monday made a statement that the Ukraine was hit with one of those uh, thermobaric bombs. Now, that was her, I, I've been looking into this to get any, any real stories on this. Uh, the ambassador made a claim that the Russians used uh, cluster bombs and uh, thermobaric bombs. Now, thermobaric bombs, if I understand this right, uh, cause an intense amount of heat. They suck the air in, which causes the lungs to explode, uh, blindness, eardrums to, to explode, uh, organs to, to implode or explode. Uh, real nasty, nasty stuff that's just out, outlawed by uh, the world. And uh, so that's what's going on over here. You know, and, and over here, you got people that don't want to wear masks because they're uncomfortable. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it, the level of ridiculousness is just so incredible. And then on top of that, even, so even blue states like mine, Connecticut, we've done away with the, the whole, you don't have to wear a mask inside anymore. You know, it's, it's a not, it's become a non-issue. So you have this, this freedom, these freedom truckers, this convoy. I, I've seen one of them have already given up because they only have like five trucks. So one of one of, you know, there's a series of different convoys and one of them has already called it quits before I think they even got to Arizona. 
<laughs> now, I don't know. Some of them will probably make it eventually make it to the, to Washington. I came across a, a a site here on YouTube, Big Family Homestead. I mean, they don't look like bad people, but they're all they're all in support of the freedom truckers, and uh, they're they're trying to hint at ways that talking to the truck drivers that it, you know if they get any hassle from the police once they get to Washington D.C. they should shut their just shut their trucks off and leave them where they're sitting and just. You know, and these are the people that profess to be for America first. And there's already issues with the supply chain. There's already issues with inflation. So instead of doing the right thing and moving goods across the country, they're complaining about a piece of, a non-existent now, a piece of cloth mandate that doesn't even exist anymore. And then as far as the vaccinations, I, I think the people, we pretty much got to the point that the people that want to get them are getting them. And the boosters and the people that don't want to have probably mostly gotten sick by now and probably have uh, some, some level of uh, immunity. You know what came to mind? That saying that God protects drunks, idiots, and little children. Did you guys ever hear that? You know, these people didn't want to get vaccinated and then we had the omicron thing where it, it seemed that's where that 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 phrase came to mind you know like god just looking down going like oh my god you know they have a vaccine and they don't even want to use it what am i going to do now you know? so that 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 phrase that uh saying came to mind that god protects idiots drunks and little children uh came to mind but this is just a non-issue now so we'll, ha we'll have to see tonight and into tomorrow if uh there's going to be trucks parked anywhere in Washington, D.C. after this uh, State of the Union address tonight. Uh, you know, I just can't believe there's people like Lauren Bobart that are saying, you know, forget about the Ukraine. This is more important. We need to be liberated. Canada needs to be liberated. And then painting Trudeau like, like you know, he's some kind of monster. You know, meanwhile, 6,000 miles away, you have Vladimir Putin with cluster bombs and thermobaric weapons. Oh, forget about the man over there. Now let's worry about masks and, and Mr. Prime Minister Trudeau. Wow. All right. <laughs> Thanks for letting me unload. You guys have a great Tuesday.